2,000 applied. 500 went to trials. All dreaming of football immortality. But who will make the squad of Fash FC? Football has always been and always will be the national obsession and the passions of the Premiership have inevitably spilled onto the pitches of the Sunday leagues. Every Sunday over 20,000 footballers battle it out in teams across the country. One of the largest leagues in London is the Hendon and District League. It's been running for over 50 years and is regarded as one of the toughest in the country. But this year there's a new team on the fixtures list. Over the summer, Bravo has been on a mission to find 20 players to form a new squad run by football legend John Fashnu. Fash has never managed before, he didn't pick the squad and his team have never played together. Fash's challenge is simple, his squad must win the league, but can John and Fash FC rise to the challenge? This challenge right now is one of the most important things I'm facing in my life. I've been a winner and I will continue to be a winner. My management style will be very similar to how I used to be on the football field. Hard, but fair. Character, belief, commitment, be positive. I like that. I want things to be done on time. I want things to be done my way. I want things to be done the professional way. There has to be a code of conduct. Rules that I myself will adhere to and that all of my players must adhere to. No smoking. I don't like swearing and we will not put up with lateness. All football boots must be kept clean. I will be very disappointed if any one of those 20 footballers throws this opportunity away. 4-4-2. Always like that formation. I like to let my midfields get up and down the touchline. Up and down, hug the touchline, stay right out there. I also, as the manager, reserve the right to sack any one of these 20 footballers. We're going to put our necks on the line. We're going to put our reputation on the line. We're going to put everything we have on the line for this team. I'm going to make sure that I get these 20 players to focus on playing football every week. So I've got to be able to bring my meditation, my focusing, and I've got to be able to instill it in 20 other amateur footballers so they understand how important it is to focus on the game. It's going to be hard work, but at the end of the season, if we haven't won the league or come in the top two, I'll be very, very disappointed. Hi there, my name's Lydia, I'm calling from uh, a production company. Challenge. Hi there, hi Alex. And the reason I'm calling is we're trying to get more participants for football. Yeah. The search for new football talent has taken months. We targeted gyms, pubs and clubs, anywhere footballers might be. The Bravo production team tackled vast numbers of applications. Over 2,000 applied for the show. These were whittled down to just 500 who were invited to attend trials. Amongst the applications, we received hundreds of homemade audition tapes. Over three days in September, the selected players arrived to try out for Fashy's squad. Something I've dreamed of, something I've always wanted to do. But I said, this, this is the chance now for you to do it, and that's what it's all about. That's why I'm here. It sounds a brilliant opportunity, um, really challenging. I've been playing football all my life, uh, Chelsea season ticket holder. So uh, obviously got to do the Blues proud and, and try and get in the side. Every Sunday League football that's dreamed has ever made the big time to, do, to be involved in something like this. On each day, the trialists were separated into groups of 30. Each group were tested in three key areas. Stage one, we sorted the men from the boys by testing their football skills. Stage two, personality games. We delved into the minds of our football hopefuls. If my old dear stage is, I'm gonna get a clump. And stage three, 
the piece de camera. Each applicant was asked to prepare a party trick and explain why they should be in Fashy's squad. Cheers. With so many people to assess over the three days, what are the Bravo judges looking for? We're looking for people who have football ability. They don't necessarily have to be stars, but they need to have some football ability. I've been looking for good overall conditioning, good pickup speed, the ability to sprint, turn over quickly, because that's pretty much what a footballer would do. He wasn't picking the squad, but what did the judges feel Fash would want? If John was to choose out of the 2,000 people who had applied, he'd do nothing but pick the best players. And that's the challenge for him. We're giving him 20 people who make a great squad, who are good characters, who people want to see on TV. And he's got to work with them and make them win the league. And that is his challenge. That is fascist football challenge. The judges knew what they wanted, but why did the players think they should be picked? You should pick me because... Where do I start? You shouldn't pick me, really. I'm not sure why you should pick me. Everybody wants to live the dream. I'm the best footballer the world's never seen. Alors comme ça je peux apporter un peu de classe. People always say that I'm a performer and I entertain, even though I'm an accountant. My social skills are very good, which means I'll be good in the pub after. I'm quite lively, a little bit Larry, Larry. I'm a fun guy. Quite a funny person, to tell the truth. With the right coaching, I can be very dangerous. Every team needs a young player, and that's me. I've got the footballer's haircut. God is on my side. I've got an orange tree in the bottom of the garden, so I can bring the half-time oranges. Because I'm one in a million. I sing, I dance, I act. I wouldn't say I've got many wonderful things about me. I'm a wicked cook. I was born for this. I don't want to work Sundays anymore. I give my right leg to be in the Fashion News football team, but unfortunately I think that might be counterproductive. Playing football and being on TV, what else can a young guy ask for? The trialists were tested on their football ability. Ball control, heading, dribbling and shooting. We're looking for people who are going to be able to play at a decent standard. So they've got to be able to have a touch, they've got to have a certain level of fitness, they've got to look like they've played football before. Uh, and it looks, it looks like there's some good players here and they all, all seem to be enjoying it. So uh, I think it's going to be a good day. One. Some players have come from far afield in their quest for football immortality. Jason Phillips, um, interesting fact, I'm from another country, Wales. <laughs> it's only about two and a half hours from Cardiff. People think it's a boat ride and a camel ride, but uh, it's not that far. It wouldn't matter the distance because commitment, I've shown commitment today, I'm here, I've come up you know, and I want to do this and I'm really committed to do it. And if I've got to come up on a Sunday and a Wednesday, it's no big deal. Jason, as well as managing a graphics company in Cardiff, also runs a tribute band agency. If I got through, We'd definitely go on a night out, right? And we'd all dress as the village people, right? Fash could be definitely the US cop. He was black, bald, tall, good voice. I could spot a couple of bikers, leather boys, and a construction worker. And I'd be the Indian, I think, yeah. Indian's the best, best one. Come down today with um, my girlfriend, Michelle. She's um, a Britney Spears tribute, but we're just about to start her off in Christina, because Christina's a bit more popular at the moment. She's a Welsh gymnast champion has its benefits. He's always dreamed of being a footballer, so when this opportunity came, he was like, oh my God, I've got a phone up. So got the video camera out and filmed him in the garden with his son, so and here he is. <laughs> Bang! Oh, yes! I could be any <laughs> Jason knew why he was at the trials, but others were not so sure. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Um, 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 uh, um, okay, um, um, I can give a lot of, um, 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 so, uh, um, um, <laughs> enjoy fishing quite a lot, um, 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 is that enough? The trials have been in progress for half an hour, but a few stragglers are still arriving, like Charles, a sales assistant from East London. I'm about an hour late, and the reason was that the reason for that was because I was um, I couldn't find my way here because I live all the way in Hamilton, and it was just terrible trying to get here. You know, I had to take like I took a bus, but it took me the I didn't know you were supposed to turn. Yeah, it's just a long story, so. <laughs> And Charles's luck 
wasn't improving. Yeah, well, I was told I was in Group B, and I'm going to be in midfield. And uh, this is my group number here, 444. Four, four, so. <laughs> Actually, I'm hoping... This is Group A. You <laughs> This is Group A. I think Group yeah, B is just on this pitch just there. Excuse me, it's Group B. Four, 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 have you just arrived, mate? Yeah. It's half nine, you're supposed to be here. Just get yourselves warm, and we'll be with you in a second. All right, guys, done a bit of a warm-up. Got yourself, got your limbs moving a little bit. I mean, it's 20 to 11, they're supposed to be here half nine, the geezer's just turned up. He says he's got three buses, but, you know, if people want to be in the team, if one of, they want Fash to pick them, then they've really got to get here on time, because Fash isn't going to like that at all. Still to come on Fashion News Football Challenge, tempers flare on the pitch. But they say no, they've just done the ball shoot. And who stays, who goes? The judges make their choices. Oh, there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah! <laughs> Hello Fash mate, Phil here, um, you survived the jungle, uh, you're going to need all them skills I think this season, but I'm sure you and the boys will be able to pull it off, uh, all the very best, and uh, hopefully you come back with a trophy. ta -da, mate. Over three days in September, the Bravo judges auditioned 500 footballers to form a new Sunday League squad managed by football legend John Fashionu. With the first game just three weeks away, everyone was desperate to impress, and a few of the trialists were starting to lose their call. Guys, calm down. I don't want any injuries. Calm down. I'm the I know we won, but he's, he's not going one in the matter. Right? So you have to play to teamwork, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't start shooting, shooting, and then you don't. upsetting everybody. Hello. You know what I mean? Game of football, you won. So, so. Hey, did you win, lad? It was, it was quite interesting, I mean, uh, to see somebody argue like that with his teammate when they've just beaten us by probably 6 7 1. So, uh, I just went across just to uh, see what was happening. And uh, I don't know, he, he just felt, I think, that the other guy was, uh, was being a tad greedy. but. I mean, he looked effective in the game, and you know, we, we got hammered, and we're not arguing. I mean, you can't enjoy a game like that because people can't. People are running around like headless chickens. You got your own teammates frigging tapping you. It's a load of bollocks, really. Do you know what I mean? And they're just shouting for no reason. I was trying to tell them their mistakes. 
on what they do. That is not right. That's what kept me hungry, you know, because they, they didn't play fair to me. It's not, it's not supposed to be you like that. For right, but listen, listen, listen. I'll stop with Ruby. When you swap for Ruby, he's supposed to plan. Another person in the field is supposed to come in the post. Yeah, but the, and, and, yeah, yeah. the last game. That got that a little bit passionate, providing no one decks each other like <laughs> and no one gets badly hurt, I'm quite happy. It's good to see a bit of passion anyway. Away from the pitch, the personality games were in progress. You've got to untangle yourselves without letting go, okay? It's about testing teamwork. We're looking for people who have character and can work together in a squad. We're looking for people who won't work together, we're looking for people who will clash. It's essential that they don't all get along, they don't all gel, they're not all the same type. If my old dear says this, I'm going to get a clump. You've heard of Viagra? I once slipped with a 60 year old bird. I know how fast the average sperm swims at. I cross dress. I'm horny now, do you know what I mean? I want to <laughs> get in there and do the business. I've got a third nipple. I once had a spit roast with this girl, with me and my friend, which was quite enjoyable. I always cheat on my bed. I've been kissed by Kelly Brook. This hand has touched Natalie and Brulia's butt. I like dressing up in my girlfriend's clothes. When you're 16 years old and you sleep with a school teacher, come on now, boys. To cut long story short, I went home and knocked one out. But not everyone resorted to filth to catch the judges' attention. I've basically written a song for England for 2004, um, which is called Goal for England, and then I suddenly thought, well, um, what a fantastic opportunity if I'm coming down here today to try and, try and rejig it and come up with something which is going to be great for, for Fash FC. We are the boys who play for Fash FC, <laughs> where football dreams become reality. Just basically love my music, love my football and um, love performing and I had everyone doing the hand claps and so on. Uh, seemed to go down well. Training's on Wednesday out in North London. <laughs> We've got a gaffer by the name of John. He played for England and for Wimbledon. One nil, two nil, two. At work, I have to do. We have a conference every year. I rewrite the lyrics of, um, of a well-known song, so tragedy becomes strategy. Um, you know, with objectives set and our targets met, it's strategy. With Fash FC, whoa, and we don't need no luck. With Fash FC, whoa, and we don't give a damn. Go for Fash FC. <laughs> And if you couldn't sing, trialists could always impress with their party tricks. There was an old man called Fash who picked a squad of players for the Bravo Bash. Bringing back some retro. Sexy, look at my sexy body. And did you get the ball out wide to David? David will ping it in, all right? <laughs> For one trialist, this wasn't his first appearance on TV, and he lacked neither confidence nor modesty. Hi, my name's Aaron and I'm number 510, but really I should be number one. In India, I was a television presenter, what they call a, a VJ, which isn't a term used much here, it's a video jockey. Um, each show went out to an average of 28 million people, which, if you think about it, is more than EastEnders has ever been out to for one episode, and this is an average of my show going out. So, um, I'm used to the camera, um, and, and I hope I'll be a big asset to the team. I think it'll be useful for me being a presenter. I'll be able to sort of get in there and uh, well, ask the questions that maybe you guys can't ask because I'll be hopefully playing with them. Um, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm sure the, being a presenter will help. Um, it won't help my football skills, but I'm sure it'll help. As well as being a world famous TV star, Aaron has other strings to his bow. Uh, well, when I was younger, I could do a backflip. Now I'm a lot older, let's see if I can do it again. Yep, he's still got the magic. What was that? <laughs> that was my Superman pose and my flip. Meanwhile, Sal's assistant Charles was struggling with his football skills. But it wasn't knocking his confidence. I think I'm the next Ronaldo <laughs> because I'm Brazilian, 
that's, that's, that's one reason. And also, I think I got the skills to prove it. Charles continued to struggle in the five-a-side sessions. Despite his eagerness, no one seemed to want to pass to him. I think some of them probably think they're uh, think they're better than they are. Put it that way. He's not. He's not. He's not a footballer. If you ask me on this question, I'll give you an answer. He ain't a footballer. He said he ain't played for two years, so that's the, there's your answer there. He ain't a footballer for two years, but if he wants to play, then let him play. They said that you, it's not about your footballing skills, it's about your personality. You know, he's a nice guy, I spoke to him, he seems a pretty down-to-earth bloke. I think he's the best player I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's not funny. I really do, I think he's I've gifted. I, I wouldn't say Ronaldo. I wouldn't say Ronaldo. <laughs> he's close, but not as good as Ronaldo, is he? Well, the Ronaldo didn't come out today because, uh, like I said, I stayed off in the fence, you know. I was, I was busy trying to stop goals from happening because I really wanted our team to win. You know, um, and but I can if I was if I pushed up front, definitely the Ronaldo would have come out definitely. Jason had come all the way from Cardiff to try out for Fashy Squad. At 32, this was his last chance to cut it as a footballer. When I went to university, I, I went to Cardiff City for about six months. Never made the first team, um, just played in the reserves. Um, and it was a choice I made, education or football. And it's one of those decisions you make in your life, you think, shall I make that decision? But um, I got my degree and stuff and I've, been, I've had a good life, yeah? I've been happy with it. But you always think, what happens if I would have stayed there? Maybe nothing. <laughs> well, he's been a bit worried about his age, but I'm sure he'll do well. I mean, he's got the fitness there, he's always in the gym. He'll be fine. He never gives up. That's one thing Jason does not do, never gives up. <laughs> OK, next goal, wins it, let's go! Scored a couple of goals, a winner. Didn't get to do a lap of honour or anything, but uh, you know, there it goes. Jason had done his best, but was it enough? The Bravo judges convened at the end of each day to select those who were going through to the callbacks weekend. I don't think he's got that kind of extra quality. He didn't shine on the football pitch. Character-wise, all playing. <laughs> Either. No. He wasn't that great. Family man, trained yes. a Thai boxer. Well, he's actually a reasonable goalie. Talks a lot. Yeah. Slightly more mature. He'll give Fash hell. Yeah. He was the most useless he guy we've had all day. Thing. Fash is picking every week. Yeah. He'll never play a game. OK. He's so <laughs> thick. And he's really not that interesting. He was the, he was the lady's favourite of the whole day. Yeah. He is going to struggle hugely physically. I liked him a lot. He's a, a real rock and roll kind of character. A reasonable footballer as well and very chatty on the pitch. He was good. I mean, he's a definite. Been a, been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> the trialists awaited the verdict. Only 80 players in total would return the following weekend. It's been a great day, thanks very much for your patience. In no particular order at all, I'm going to read out the numbers and the names. So first of all, 092 with Tony. 304, Pat. 434, Jamie. 508, Paul. 377, Kester. Oh, there's plenty more where that came from. Yeah! <laughs> Over the moon, mate, to be honest with you. First time I've ever done anything like this in my life. Brilliant. Really chuffed. Really, really chuffed. Woo! The nerves are gone, that. Ah, next day, I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't even talk now. Brilliant. Oh, Top man, yeah, brilliant. What's that yeah, cool. As the last few names were called out, tension grew amongst the remaining players. Five, one, zero. Aaron. Ooh. Well, they left it right to the end, so like uh, the heart's still racing. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it's nice to nice to be picked, isn't it? Yes, come <laughs> Jason waited nervously. Would the judges be put off by his long commute from Wales? Final name on the list. Number 74, Jason. Yeah! 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 
He's the man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, don't do that to me ever again. I was good. I'm well excited. Well chefed. The Welshman everywhere. <laughs> we get into everything. I'm very, very happy. Yes! We'll go find him. The news was great for Jason, but for Charles, who wasn't picked, it was to be a disappointing end to the day. I'm not sure what the judges look at, actually, because I think I played well. Uh, maybe my personality. I think they're all looking at personality more, maybe. But apart from that, I can't really see why. Still to come in Fashion News Football Challenge, the final 80 work up a sweat. Work, 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 work. Fash turns up for some impromptu training. With a football, just keep it gently, caress it like you would your wife, your girlfriend, just gently with the ball. And the trialist face of grilling from the Bravo panel. How many porn films have you appeared in? Well, Fash, we know it's going to be a long, tough old season, but I want to wish you and the boys all the very best. Good luck and I hope it's a successful season for you. Bravo's search for a new Sunday League team has seen 2,000 hopefuls whittled down to a final 80, all fighting out for a place in Fashy's squad. After completing the first set of trials, the successful few returned, eager to impress. Their abilities were tested by a new set of judges. The trialists were made to sweat in intense workout sessions run by fitness expert Simon Walterson. Bravo recruited two ex-pro footballers to help the judges assess the players' football skills. And the trialist personalities were picked apart by a panel of Bravo judges. Work, 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 work. Fitness guru Simon Walterson, personal trainer to the likes of Piers Brosnan and Halle Berry, puts the boys through their paces. Off we go! This is a very difficult circuit to do but it's to show different aspects of people's character, their teamwork. Keep going, keep going. Individual ability. Piece of piss this is. Their stamina, their strength, their endurance. That wasn't easy. <laughs> Sunday League football has got a reputation, a bit of a jokey reputation of, oh God, everyone's been out the night before, everyone's been eating pizzas and drinking, and like we didn't get in until four. People are like having cigarettes and putting them out by the goal. I think it's probably changed. I think the way that this country is actually, and European football is going, is that the standard will be incredibly high. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, good, and six. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice big jump, that's it. Oh, let's go! Good. Uh, all right. Oh, he's got a bit cramped, that's all. Good though. Stretch it across, bring it over. Okay. So it's a lot of uh, commitment, um, mental strength and stamina. I mean, you have to really be able to carry on to the end. It's no point in the game of football being able to play 45 minutes. You have to be able to carry on 90 minutes, even extra time. It's pushing your body to the limit. That's very demanding. Absolutely exhausted. I would have one to uh, I'm recovering. Knackered. Knackered. I'm getting knackered. Another five minutes and I think I'm on the floor for an ambulance. Meanwhile, Manchester United and Wales star Mickey Thomas and ex-Arsenal player and coach Paul Davies cast their professional eyes over the lads. Well played. I've been impressed with quite a few of them. Um, the standard has been pretty good. Come on, three more minutes to impress. By the way, some of these have got no chance to impress. Yeah, is anyone you think could argue with John Fashney? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> He's a big lad. We, we need a reliable goalkeeper. Bruce Grobler, is he about? Hey, Roy Keane, stop that. No matter what level you're a manager at, any level, you want to do well, you want to be a success. So I think it's important that you know he does that. Don't worry about your looks, Patrick. 
it's going to be a good opportunity for him to show what he can do. He's going to be on national TV, people are going to be looking. And if he does well, you never know, he could get... You never know, might be the next England manager. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's fashion, I've got to tell you, don't get results. There's a lot of people after your job, I can tell you. <laughs> Although not expected to attend the trials, the big man himself arrives for a sneaky glimpse of the hopefuls. You can tell the players just by the look who are footballers and who are not. He's not. It's the look of arrogance. It's the look of I don't care. It's the look of I'm better than everyone else. That's the look of a top footballer. You can only give that look when you lock, knock three or four cones over and you know you're going to score. This one doesn't have a look of a footballer. This one looks like my local milkman. Not happy with just observing, Bash starts an impromptu training session. All I'm going to do is I'm going to knock you the ball, deal with the ball. Good. Head down. Oh, good strike. Good strike. Good strike, son. Good strike. OK, we're going to take it, we're going to make it a little bit harder. Each ball is going to flip up. So you've got three touches. You've got three touches. That means your first touch, you've got to get the ball down and you've got to tee it up for a nice shot. Just take it easy, stay on your toes. Nice first touch. Go on, get onto that ball. Woof. With a football, just keep it gently. Caress it like you would your wife, your girlfriend. Just gently with the ball. Even at this early stage, Bash has spotted some potential Good. golden balls. Oh, like the boy uh, at midfield, he's got the Italian shirt on. Boy from Cardiff. 74, he's strong on the ball, he talks a good game, yeah, confident. Yeah, well done. Where do you play? You play somewhere do you play at the moment? Um, I've got a, a university, old boys. Yeah? Set up, Plymouth Old Boys, Surrey League. Yeah, yeah, I like that. How old are you? 25. 25, yeah, you can play, I like that. I like your style, I like your cool head, I like that. It's a good player, well you know? Yeah. Bro, big man. Well done, yeah, some good players here. Where are you playing at the moment? Nowhere. Nowhere. From Cardiff. Yeah? I like you. You've got, you. You won the ball. You're, you're good yeah. movement. It's good stuff. That. Sure, enough. I've been very impressed. There's a lot of raw talent out here, but we mustn't lose sight or focus of what we're actually here for. Will there be flashpoints? Of course, there's going to be flashpoints. Will there be tears? Of course, there's going to be blooming tears. Will there be punch-ups? Well, as night and day is, there'll be punch-ups. This is the world of football. It's a red-blooded macho game, and if you're not strong enough, get out now. Will I manage? Ask me that in seven months. <sighs> After an exhausting day, the time has come for our hopefuls to face the Bravo panel, consisting of Richard Wolfe, Channel Controller, Rebecca Johnson, Exec Producer, Danny Fenton, Managing Director of Zigzag Productions, and Richard Drew, Series Producer. Can't wait to get in there and meet the judges. I'm nervous, I'm next in line. It's like a job interview, isn't it? You've got to be confident. I haven't seen you play football. Tell me in 30 seconds why I should give you my vote. I'm reliable. I'm reasonably good looking. I, I lead by example. I'll be really crazy. I'm very bubbly. I'm a team player. So I go in there, I wind everybody up. I will be the fittest player on the team. I'm from Colombia. I, I think I'm a ladies man. I'm going to bring a, a diversity. I can get on well with, with uh, men. That's basically it. OK, that's more than 30 seconds, but well done. Just bring him in. Kesta is about to meet the judges, but something in his past has aroused the panel's attention. What skeletons in the closet do you fear the programme uh, will bring out that well, the press could get well, hold I mean, of? Well, I mean, we're all human at the end of the day. You know, we've all done things that we haven't been proud of in our past. <laughs> How many porn films have you appeared in? Um, I haven't appeared in a film as such. I've done a DVD. Men on men, men on women. No, 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 no men on men on women. No, I've got, no, I've got, no, I've got a problem with that anyway, but it's men on women, yeah. And are your family aware of this? Um, they are, yeah. And they're quite happy for you about yeah, that? Yeah, quite happy, yeah. You, are you a better footballer or a porn star? <laughs> um, I'm good at both, so I've been told. Good ball control. Um, yeah, good, excellent ball control, yeah. Uh, good dribbling skills as well. I looked him in the eye when I gave my answers. So I've got nothing to hide, basically. They tried to grill me, but I sort of like rose above it. Goalkeeper Andy has been unlucky with injuries over the weekend. Will he be more lucky with the panel? Oh, no. Oh. Andrew, what have you done? Uh, hamstring this time. Shoulder yesterday and hamstring today. That doesn't bode well for two weeks' time. Are you, are you prone to injuries? No, the last injury I had was four broken ribs when two blocks landed on my back. 
That was about five years ago. I was going to say, Andrew, you've been married twice. Yep. Um, what's your relationship like with your ex-wives? Fantastic. First one I haven't seen in 15 years. Can't get any better than that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Clean cut Welsh wonder Jason impressed Bash, but will he impress the judges? Obviously, uh, there'll be stories in the press about the team. Um, will there be any stories about you? Um, any yeah. ex-girlfriends? A couple of ex-girlfriends. Um, but they're the good stories, aren't they? You claim to be a mind reader. What am I thinking? You're thinking, um, I've got nice eyes. Wrong. <laughs> Jamie quickly discovers that first impressions count. Hello. Can you take your hat off? Great, and have a seat. What's wrong? No, ah. it's just you walk around with your hat on and you wouldn't do on a match day, so it'd just be okay. nice to I'm see sorry. how you're going to look. OK. Are you playing for any team at the moment? Yeah, I play for a team in Enfield. Why would you want to give that up for this? Well, I play Saturday, so I wouldn't give it up. So if we said to you, we don't want you to play Saturdays, and you had to make a choice... Well, well that's a bit unfair, because you, at the time you said it was a, a part-time commitment, you've got to be available for Wednesday and Sunday. Thank you, you Jamie. All right, cool. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Was it? it was good. After retiring down the pitch, Jamie discovers a grilling from the Bravo panel is even more exhausting. Jamie, you sound tired. It's been a draining day today. OK, but you just need to pick okay. it up a bit. What player do you model yourself on? Um, Patrick Vieira. Do you think Patrick Vieira goes into the tunnel and gives a shit interview after a game? Uh, no, he doesn't. Right, well, then you better not do the same. I've got a bit of sunstroke, so I ain't feeling too good at the minute. Um, no, I don't think I've won them over, to be honest. Now the players have been interrogated, it's decision time for the panel. Stephen. Yes. 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 Yes, yes without a shadow of a doubt. Tony Charles, Leaf and Blue. Yes. 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 Maybe. No, no, Maybe. No, Definitely no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Archie. No. Archie. No, it's a maybe. Maybe. No. 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 Maybe. No. You can't go into no. Two no's. No, no it's a maybe. So that puts any... him in the maybe. He can let him float in between no and maybe. <laughs> Sam Diamond. Yes. 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 He's our striker. Patrick. Patrick. Yes. 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 Double yes. I think he's distinct, badly drawn boy. He's badly drawn boy. He didn't come across that great. He came across very badly. But he's going to be. He's going to be a character. This is looking like a good team, you know. The judges call up the players in groups of five and tell them if they're in the final 30 or taking an early bath. 30 of you are getting through. That doesn't automatically mean you're on the squad. The first five names are Stuart. Uh, Stuart. You're not through yet. Kester. Kester is in the first group. Will his film career have put off the panel? I can tell you. You're in our final 30. Congratulations. It's crunch time for Andy. Have his injuries jeopardised his chances? OK, guys. I'm sorry you're not through. Do you want to hang in the corner over there for a moment? Jamie failed to impress the panel with his interview. Will he be receiving a red card? Yeah. Yeah. Welsh boy Jason is left to the end once again. This is the final group and his last chance to reach the squad. Final result. Going over there. I was shaking now, I think I was more nervous than he was. Say we are top of the league! Say we are top of the league! I don't think I really got a fair chance, but as I walked in the room, the judges sort of... The first thing they commented on was uh, the fact that I was living a bit. <laughs> what can I say? What a horrible way to do it though, he's been watching too much pop I think. It feels good when you actually go through, you know, you've succeeded something, you've achieved. My baby, you wait till I get home, I'm gonna... Mwah! Coming up in part four, the final 20 are unveiled. 
Fash, big man here. Um, just to wish you all the best for the season. I know it's going to be enjoyable, but it's going to be some tough spells. Have a few in different results, but I know you've got the character to bring the boys through it. So once again, all the best.